Hey guys, it has been a while because I have been going wash and go crazy. Last week, I didn't do a wash and go. Um, I simply just washed my hair and I put the two products in it because my hair loves these products and they keep my hair very moisturized, soft and fluffy. I decided to just kind of rub the mixture on and, um, you know, let it air dry and then after time it got bigger and swole up like this i was going for more of an afro type look and blah 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 anyway i wanted to get my afro and wear my hair out and all that stuff out of the way before it got too hot the other day it was 88 degrees and very very humid and i was sorry that i was wearing my afro and i feel like washing my hair and all that good stuff so i'm going to do the protective style something to just keep my hands off for a while and i'm just working i've already sprayed my leave-in i'm gonna sp i'm gonna separate this i'm keeping this part i'm just gonna separate my hair out and um twist it up i'm simply spritzing a little bit of water and then i'm going to let me just spritz the water spritzing a little bit of water just to make the hair more pliable only a little bit of water i'm not even going to um i'm just going to do a quick finger detangle i'm not running anything else through and then i'm going to apply i have a coconut shea bit mixture it's coconut shea and avocado oil i think and i'm just doing this per section and then I'm just going to twist each section up in the desired amount of twists. As you can see, I started one side. I've completed the twisting. I usually uh, like to start in the back, but I was a little eager to do the front first for whatever reason. I am using the super small hairpins. That is hairpin, not bobby pin, but hairpin. And by super small, you can see the comparison there. Can you see it? Yep. Okay. I'm using a combination of the super small and then my premium size small hairpins. Because I want to make sure that I have enough of these to go around. So I'm spreading it out. These something about these small ones they really help grasp the um the hair when you're trying to do styles like this, at least to me. Wait, let me start over. Can you see it? Just twisting it to be tighter. I've worn this style once before. Um, did the twist I didn't have as many twists this time I have six twists per section I have my hair in four sections and I did six twists more than I wanted but I figure well it may last longer with more twists I probably should have pulled my hair back, but I was not thinking. And I'm just going to tuck this little piece under like so. One more for the road. Yep. 
I guess I could readjust that so it's not as visible, but right now I do not care. is the next day let's see how it turned out I got my mirror down here so if I look a little strange that's why mm. see it looks better I started to put one of my lock jewels up here but we're gonna keep it plain I probably should wear bigger earrings huh Hmm. Cute. Put me a little bit of gel right there. Uh huh. Uh huh. Maybe let that twirl or stick to my face. One of the two. I don't want it looking like a booger. Just a little bit. I want it to be gel, but I don't want it to look like it's gel. Okay, so next time I will eliminate this super long part because it's all parted off but overall I am pleased with the final look and I'm going to try to wear it for like a week I don't know <laughs> alright you guys until the next video smooches <laughs>